I don't know who in my ticket is going to be. I think it's now going to be nice come from here. Yeah. I'm going to So it's going to be like 26A. So I'm looking for 26A or 26A or 26 This could be. Yeah, so I'm looking for 26A. I think I'm going to sit at the back, man. Oh my gosh. 26, yeah, this is 26. That was the 26A. So that would be at the window section. And that's what I want, man. So, guys. Okay? This is good and it's one of the best airlines here in Brazil. So when you want to travel, main travel would go. Okay, they are the best. Okay, you can see. Go. They are the best airlines you can get. Okay. This is go. And this is the best airline that you can get. If you want to travel, travel with go. Okay. Go is the best airline that you can travel with. Okay. So guys. Thank you so much. I'm doing this and advert for them. Okay, so guys, let's go. Hello guys. How you guys doing man? Uh, guys, I know that it's Christmas and a lot of people will be traveling. A lot of people will be going to different countries. A lot of people have already gotten a visa. Others, they have already got a visa. They have traveled before and they want to travel again. For example, uh, if you got a tourist visa and you want to travel, there are a lot of questions that the immigration normally asks. You're supposed to put this thing in mind. No immigration is going to allow you to go for free without asking you questions. Because those people, they have a simple question that they normally ask. No matter who you are, it doesn't matter you have a travel experience. They are still going to ask you. But a lot of people are being getting deported for some specific question. Guys, listen and listen careful some specific question people are being deported I've, a lot of people are asking me how what are the questions that when they get to immigration it's possible that they are going to ask them i think this is the opportunity for me to just talk about it because it's like three people have been deported from canada with the same question and a friend of mine was also deported with the same question from UK. So I want to just put this in a clause and let everyone get to know that when you are traveling, please, please, please make your itinerary. You have to put your itinerary plan. Itinerary is just a plan of uh, where you are going what you are going to do what are you going to do there even if you know someone there or you don't know anyone there you still have to do your itinerary go online research for example this is a Christmas time there are a lot of events that are going on on different countries for example when you come here in Brazil I know that a lot of people are going to come to Brazil so let me use Brazil as an example. If you want to travel to Brazil in Christmas, Christmas, there are a lot of shows that are going to go on. But there are a lot of shows also that is going to happen on uh, February. So here in Brazil, sometimes it's a little bit slow, you know, when it comes to Christmas because in Brazil, everybody is saving his money for uh, how do you call it? Uh, for carnival, everybody is saving his money for carnival. So what they do is, if you are coming on the uh, month of February, 
and you tell them I'm coming to just watch how the carnival in uh, Sao Paulo or carnival in Rio de Janeiro or carnival in uh, Bahia is there's nothing that they are going to ask you again the only thing that they, the next thing that they are going to ask is how long are you going to stay in the country the carnival starts from uh, February and end at the end of the February it's when they start the carnival is full one week do you understand so you can tell them that maybe you are here for just two weeks but please 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 if a, a first time traveler don't make your return ticket to be more than seven days not more than seven days it doesn't matter you have a company you have this you have that you shouldn't pass more than seven days man even me when i'm traveling when i get to the airport or at the border and they ask me how long are you going to stay here i don't want to tell them man i'm, go I'm going to stay here for three days sometimes i said three days four days and they end up giving me a week for example when you are going to canada in Canada, they are going to you. As soon as you get a visa, you can stay in Canada for six months. But you can tell them even if you have another alternative, another thoughts, another plan. Still make it seven days. And please, when you are booking, when you are doing your booking, your hotel booking, and not hotel, your flight ticket. When you are booking your ticket, normally make it open ticket. You can return at any time. You can make it open ticket. Because when you make it the open ticket, you can change it at any time that you want. But when you make it that, man, my ticket is on the days, on the days, and something happens, it becomes difficult. But the open ticket, you just call the uh, the agent who booked the ticket for you. Man, I, I want to return. I'm returning at this day. And they are going to do it for you. Because your ticket, as soon as you buy a ticket, a lot of people doesn't know this. Let me put, as soon as you buy a ticket, your ticket, when you buy in and out, the return ticket valid for one solid year. One solid year. A lot of people doesn't know this. Let, 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 let me let me do this. I was in uh, I was in Mexico, and when I go I go to Mexico, they asked me how long am I going to stay in Mexico, and I told them I'm going to stay there for uh, four days. There were the four days. They said okay. So what am I going to do? I said I'm here to just record videos for my YouTube channel. Said, can we see your channel i said yeah so they saw my channel and they saw that now it's true because i was wearing my uh uh my t-shirt and so from there he gave me man which are the places that you'll be going i just put up my my, my itinerary that i've already prepared it i show you to them that these are the places that i'll be going and they just gave me one month the same thing happens in panama the same thing happened, you know, uh, when I went to the Cyprus. The same thing happened when I went to uh, this country, Philippines. Do you understand? So anytime I'm traveling, I have every, every question, anything that you're going to think of, I've already prepared everything. So I just put it in your hand. So what are the places you'll be going? I just pick it up. I'm going to this place, 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 this place. And it was like, wow, the address, this, and everywhere that I'll go to, everywhere that I'm going to stay, every, if it is away from where I, I, I landed, I have to book a hotel to wait. And I have this, and this is the hotel to wait. I, I have this, I'm going to this place, and this is the hotel I'm going to sleep. I have this, and this is hotel. So by the time I realize, I have already confused you, but this guy is fully prepared. So guys, 
at the airport sometimes they ask you oh so you are here um, when uh, are you here to work you know especially those who are going to Canada especially those because they uh, the, the, the travel and your agent has put in your mind that work, 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 work. So, as you are going, your mind is full of work. I'm going to work, I'm going to work. I got a job in Canada. I'm going to get a job in Canada. Man. So, as soon as the, so if they give you a work, uh, are you here to work? He said, yes, I'm here to work. I said, Tori, say you are here to work. Your yeah, tourist doesn't, you are not allowed to work, even students. Sometimes, some countries, students are not allowed to work. Others, they are allowed to work for a certain time. So, if we are here to work, they are going to deport you. You will be sent back. L let me tell you, a friend of mine went to uh, 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 UK. And when he went to the UK, uh, what happened? They asked him, why are you here? Because you are, you are in Brazil, you have a Brazil passport, so why are you here? He's from uh, Senegal. And he said, oh, I'm here for uh, a friend of mine's uh, birthday. He said, a friend, of yours, a friend of yours' birthday? He said, yeah. Uh, when is it going to happen? He said, it's going to happen at this day. Where? At this place. Do you have a hotel? This is my hotel. So they allow him to go. Later on, the guy was suspecting something. It's like the, the, the guy looked so suspicious. And he said, okay, come, come back. And he called him back and asked, can I, can I check inside your bag? I said, of course. He gave the bag to him. And the guy is having his uh, attire because he's a cooker. So he having that, the cooking, those who cook, the, the, the cab and the dress, he having everything in the bag. I said, this one's for what? And he said, oh, I'm here for uh, for my, my, my friend's birthday, so I'm going to, I'm a cooker, so I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do barbecue, I'm, going, I'm the one going to handle the, I said, it means you are here to work. Is your friend going to give you money? I said, uh, he's not going to pay me, but he said he will help me some money to go back. It means you are here, to work you are here he's offering you a job so <laughs> he's offering you a job so you are here and you, you you're going to accept as soon as you accept money uh, it means you are working a friend of mine also went to the United States and uh, he was like uh, the immigration officer asked him are you here to work he said no I'm not here to work uh, but I'll be working online I said, you'll be working online. You're working online in the United States. It means you are working. It doesn't matter if you are working physically or you're working online. The work is the work. And what happened? They deport him. So guys, as a Christmas is coming, please, when you are traveling, make sure you prepare all your questions, everything. Make sure your visa that you have had it acquired doesn't go in vain. Please. This is my advice to anyone who is traveling. When you go somewhere, anytime at the immigration, and they ask you, are you there to work? Say no. When they offer you a job, will you accept it? No. When, uh, when, he, when someone uh, tell you to help me and you give you money, are you going to uh, accept it? He said no. A friend of mine also went to the United States. The same thing, he's a student here in Brazil. And when he went there, uh, it, uh, they asked him, were you here, uh, were you working here? He said, no, I wasn't working here. He, I know he, he was like in and out in the United States because as a student, you, it's easy for you to get a United States visa. So when he got a visa, he will be just going up and down or up and down to the United States. So once they asked him, as soon as when he got to the border, uh, the, the immigration, they asked him, You'll be going up and down, up and down. What are you doing? And he said, no, he's not doing anything here, but he only come here just to, you know, buy things and, you know, take it to uh, to Brazil. And he said, okay. Uh, but it's like, when you came here, you were working. 
somewhere. It's just a trick. It's not true. He doesn't. He has not seen anything. It's just a trick. So it's like when you, it's like when you came here, you were working at this address. This address. He said, "No, I wasn't working, but it was a friend of mine who was uh, doing this, and I helped him, and he gave me money." It's a work. So guys, I always tell you guys that be wise. The immigration is uh, as soon as they ask you something, and you begins to. Uh, uh, stumble uh, and, 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 and they know that no, there's something suspicious. Trust me, they will leave everybody and concentrate on you. Either you have something bad in you, either you have a drug, either you are in here, or either you have you are you are here and your second thought is not to go back. So they become so uh, at, they give more attention to you. They become so serious about you. So, guys, thank you so much. This is the only advice. If they ask you a question that you are here to work, say no. Okay, thank you so much, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and comment. Let me know where you're watching me from. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much.